Hello again, everybody. I'm Snapper Lancaster, welcoming you to another edition of the Central Alabama High School Sports Show. Well, folks, we're going to go in a little bit of a different direction tonight. It's ladies' night, and what do I mean by that? We've got a couple of outstanding volleyball coaches and some of their players, and we look forward to talking with them in just a few minutes. Very quickly, let's touch um, on the football scene, as in Class 7A, uh, the Hoover Bucks still see the, seem to be the class of the 7A area around here in, in this region, but uh, we've got some teams playing some awfully good football and, and they're looking to probably uh, lock up a playoff spot. You know, the next four ball games that these teams play now will be all region play and will help determine whether or not they qualify for the playoffs or not. And in Class 7A, of course, it's still going to go through Hoover, but you've got some other teams playing some outstanding football. In Class 6A, of course, the Shades Valley Mounties, the Clay Chonkville Cougars are playing outstanding. Chelsea uh, is playing very well. McAdore is playing very well. Um, and in Class uh, 4A, one of the outstanding teams, of course, is Leeds Green Wave. Coach Keith Etheridge and his teams have always uh, done really, really well. But we've got a lot of outstanding teams playing some outstanding football. And of course, the next few weeks will be the determining factor. The next month's play will be the determining factor whether or not they'll qualify for a playoff bid or not. Now, going back to our volleyball girls for just a moment, it's getting into the heart of their season two where they play their area games, which of course will determine whether or not they will qualify for a playoff spot. So uh, it's coming in both uh, sports has become an important time of the season. And I know that the, the kids are looking forward to, to seeing if they can qualify for the playoffs. But for right now, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll be visiting with our very first coach of the evening. Don't you go away. The community features a world-class resort and spa. The amazing Robert Trent Jones Trail Golf Course. Miles of historic trails. And the whole family loves the pool at Ross Park. Now, are we going to have to watch your vacation slides all night? This was supposed to be a party. Well, this isn't my vacation. I live here. Ooh. Land of Frost Premium is America's best-selling one-pound daily pouch. Now available in 12 delicious flavors, including new flavors of muskeet turkey and cotto salami. High school athletes across the country ask for Land of Frost by name. These great items are available at your local grocer, including Piggly Wiggly, Food Giant, Western Supermarkets, and many more. Land of Frost also makes other varieties of lunch meats, including deli shaved bristro and sub sandwich kits. Land of Frost is a proud sponsor of youth sports as well. Good driver discount, multi-car discount, good student discount. Helping you save money on car insurance is just part of the service you get from State Farm Agent Jack Traffinstead. Whether an accident or a simple question, Jack and his staff get you the help you need. And that's the value only a State Farm Agent can provide. Call Jack Traffinstead today. 40 million drivers already know. Nobody gives more discounts to more drivers than State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And welcome back, folks. And we always want to remind you as we go into a segment that you can pick up our program on the web, castvshow.com. You can catch us there every week. And so that's the, the quickest way to get to the show. Our first guest of the evening, we were talking about it's ladies' night. We've got two outstanding volleyball coaches. And the first one, Jordan Singletary of the uh, Bestavia Rebels. And Jordan, first of all, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. First time that uh, I've met you. And uh, what we'll do is let's start this segment off by you filling us in on what uh, your background was and what has led you to be the head volleyball coach there at Bestavia. Well, I um, graduated from Bestavia in 2007. I uh, went on to play volleyball at West Georgia my freshman year at the small D2 school in Carrollton, Georgia. And then um, I left there and went and started playing in, uh, at UAB my sophomore year. Played my, uh, for three years. I tore my ACL. That was not fun. No. Um, and then I, I started my master's program at UAB for education. And I was fortunate enough to get the assistant coaching job at Vestavia. So I've been there, I was the assistant coach for two years, and then um, last year became the head coach. Well, good, so you're um, one of the younger coaches in the Birmingham area, and, yes. and as the old saying goes, you always knew, need new blood, and did you ever uh, imagine, say four or five years ago, 
that you would be the head coach not only in volleyball but at your alma mater. No, I had no idea. I always hoped it would be, you know, trying to get my face out there. Um, I coached club for BBC, just trying to get experience to be able to do it, and it was my first interview I've ever had, and it, it was a blessing to actually have it. Well, good. I, I know there's always something special about going back to your alma mater or wherever it is to uh, end up coaching in the profession that you're in. Uh, talk about uh, girls volleyball in, uh, in, in particular, how it has grown through the years, and, and even how important this club volleyball has become to the girls because now they, they're out there trying to earn scholarships just like other athletes. Mm -hmm. So it's become a, a, a player in the high school sports world from that standpoint too. Well, it's definitely gotten more um, competitive um, even from when I was in high school to now. And with club, it's helped to develop players into better players for their high school. And um, it really helps them you know, when they come to me over, I haven't seen them since the end of November and I see them in tryouts in May and I'm like, oh my gosh, what happened? You know, right. and stuff like that. So you can kind of see um, them get a lot better and be able to improve in their game. Well, one thing about it, a lot of people, and I would be in this category, so I apologize for this. I may not understand volleyball, the scoring, the strategy, uh, if you will, that it takes for, to like watch a, a football game of Best Davis because mm -hmm, I understand mm -hmm. that totally. Right, right. But I've learned through the years that there is strategy involved, but I don't totally understand it. And like um, even through the years, we've got the libero, uh, libero. libero that's mm -hmm. come in there. And all I knew for forever was it was some kind of defensive specialist. Right. Well, I don't understand all of that, but I know that y'all uh, have plays and you set up plays and then a lot of it, is planned, but then a lot of it is reactionary, isn't it? Oh, so, so talk a lot about of that, those aspects of your sport. <laughs> there's a lot of reaction, but there is a lot of scheming. That's why I like to say always thinking, always wanting to be smarter than the opponent. You know, um, I always emphasize like if you don't have the height, you've got to have the brains. You know, and it, if you place it a certain shot or, you know, a certain hit, always finding your strengths and being able to um, use those strengths in order to succeed. And um, that is, it's always thinking, always. I'm like, okay, situation, if this happens, what should you do? Right. You know, and they're like, hmm. And then at first they don't get it, but then after they're able to answer a lot f faster. Well, now let me tell you this, and you probably hear this a lot, but you, um, you look more like a player than a coach, <laughs> and, that's, and that's a compliment. But uh, having said that, Talk about the transition for you, this is your first head coaching job. Talk about the transition from an assistant coach to that head coach, because it's got to be different there. And you've learned things because you had, I'm sure, uh, different assignments as an assistant, but it's even more overwhelming um, as you become the head coach. Or is it? Because some people can just step right in and it's like you was made to do that. Well, I will say the only thing that is the hardest part of my job is the paperwork. And I, you've probably heard that a lot, just the scheduling and all that. But the volleyball aspect of it is, is totally the same. Um, my job as an assistant coach was, you know, to to help make decisions for the head coach. So she would ask questions and I would, you know, help answer. But it wasn't anything different than what I'm doing now. Um, but as far as actually making the decision, I was not the one making the final decision. And so that's the, the biggest difference between assistant and head. Well, another question I like to ask coaches, and I don't get a chance to ask the volleyball coach this that much, but um, are you a, um, a, a player's coach? And what I mean by that, are you a disciplinarian? Are you the kind that uh, you want everybody to understand that you want the chemistry to be well, but you also realize that the buck stops with you? And how has that, uh, the transformation from assistant mm -hmm. to the head coach mm -hmm. worked for you and your girls from that standpoint? Well, I always say be disciplined, um, whether it's listening to me or being where you're supposed to be on the floor. Um, but it, if I say something, then it needs to try to be done, um, if that's what you're asking. Right. Um, 
And the, I think my girls get that. And they really try to succeed to, to do what I want them to do because they know I know the game well and they trust me and um, my decisions that I make. Do you foresee 10, 15 years down the road you still being a, a coach? I really hope so, I do. Um, I would love to be the one that wheels in on the wheelchair because right. they can't walk anymore, still coaching. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Are you the kind of coach that, do you have uh, explicit or, or total um, charge of who y'all do play or do not play on your schedule? Um, as far as area, we have to play them right. twice. But, um, but I can play any, anybody I want to play, which is, awesome to be able to do that. And I know we've only got about 30 seconds left, but very quickly, are you the kind of coach that you believe in playing tougher opponents because you're going to get a good lesson? You can, you can improve for being beat sometimes. Mm -hmm. In other words, you don't want to play somebody you know you can beat because you don't really grow that much sometimes. Is that the way you look at it? I, I believe in playing tougher opponents, and then when we do play those, you know, less opponents that, you know, we absolutely beat them and beat them the best way that we know how and um, but I do I think it builds your character and builds tougher programs and teams. Well coach awfully nice to meet you we look Thank forward you. to talking with a couple of your girls good luck to y'all the rest of the year and uh, who knows maybe something special will happen in the playoffs. I really do hope so. We'll take a break we'll be right back. The community features a world-class resort and spa, the amazing Robert Trent Jones Trail Golf Course, miles of historic trails, and the whole family loves the pool at Ross Park. Now, are we going to have to watch your vacation slides all night? This was supposed to be a party. Well, this isn't my vacation. I live here. Ooh. If you want to personalize that special vehicle you drive, whether it be a car, SUV, or that truck that you love so much, then you need to visit the drive shop. They're located between downtown Trussville and Deerfoot Parkway on Highway 11, where their fine service staff of professionals are waiting to serve you. The services include auto systems, security and remote start systems, tires and wheels and window tinting, just to name a few. So come by and visit them today or find them online at thedriveshop.com or visit us on the Facebook. That's the Drive Shop in Trustful, 533-8785. Also, if you mention Snapper's name, you'll receive a 10% discount. Are you sure we should take this billboard down? People find out State Farm does car loans as well as they do insurance. Our bank is through. Good point. Grab an edge. Look, there's two guys on the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. No, for real, there's two dudes on the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. Gentlemen, please get down from the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. Bill, get the hose. Okay, he's getting the hose. All right, let's go. Want to borrow better? Contact State Farm agent Thomas Waters about a car loan that can save you hundreds. And folks, welcome back. And before we get to talking with our athletes, once again, we want to remind you, you can find us on the web at castvshow.com. And we're up there, and you can go uh, find us on the web, find the programs, watch the programs you want to watch or ones you haven't seen. And so that's the way you get to us, castvshow.com. Got a couple of senior volleyball players for Vestavia sitting next to me, Carrie Ann D'Amico. And I've done been talking with her about I knew her cousins, football players at Vestavia. And now, Carrie Ann, you're making your mark in volleyball. <laughs> And being a senior, that means that, uh, that you've been playing a while. Yes, sir. Do you participate in any other sports at Best Um, I used to play basketball, but mm -hmm. I decided just to dedicate my time to volleyball. Uh, and you're a setter. Yes, sir. Now, explain someone that's 
football, oh, I know everything about football, <laughs> but I don't know a lot about, the only thing that tells me that you're going to set somebody up to maybe smash the ball, is that correct? Yes, sir. <laughs> it is. Do, do you like that position? Uh, I do. Uh, or, so you would be more, instead of a scorer, you would uh, get an assist. Yes, probably. sir. And every once in a while, that's not so bad, is it? <laughs> yes, sir. And, of course, uh, we also have another senior, and that's Jesse Howell. And uh, Jesse uh, Libero, that's yes, your position. Now, that's a relatively new position. It hasn't been around a long time, has it? I'm not sure. Well, I'm not. I'm, I'm sure that from the standpoint that I knew what I would call basic volleyball, and that was not a position then. So mm -hmm. this is something new. And, but it is a defensive specialist, so to speak, right? Now, um, to explain how you get in and out of the game from that position. You have to um, go behind the 10-foot line, and you just kind of swap with the person you swap with. Do you have a certain amount of plays you can stay in, or do you have to come in and out? or? You have to stay on the back row, but you can, like, go in and out anytime. Oh, okay. Well, now, uh, did, did you participate in any other sports? Um, I used to play soccer and I used to play basketball with her and I used to play softball. Really? So you were real, well rounded in sports to a certain time then you just decided on one, right? Mm -hmm. Did you play club? Uh, uh, there's no, no sir. Club volleyball? Now see that's not, I'm, I'm more familiar I guess if you want to call it, that's the best way to put it, maybe with like club soccer. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize there were that many clubs in volleyball as well. Mm -hmm. So the, the one thing about it, um, you girls are, are doing your best to hopefully, if you can, are, are good enough to get a scholarship to play volleyball somewhere down the road. But being seniors, what this means is this is your last year of competition at Vestavia. Now, let's say, are, are either one of you going to get a scholarship or do you know, are you look, anybody looking? Mm -hmm. I haven't really thought about it yet. Okay, well, here's what I want you to think about because I don't want to put you in a tough situation. Let's just say volleyball, you don't go any further in your volleyball career. Where would you like to go to school? And then uh, wherever that is, what kind of courses would you take? What do you hope to do one day? Um, I'm trying to get in the University of Georgia and pursue accounting. But if I don't get in there, I would pursue nursing at the University of Alabama. Well, now, why did you choose Georgia? Um, my cousin went there. Oh, okay. And I just really like Athens, and I think it's a good school. Well, I tell you what, uh, we, we kid about schools and everything, but the main part or the main situation with all of them is getting you a good education to help you in your future. So from that standpoint, there's no bad school. So yes, I'm just sir. playing with you with that one. But um, Jesse, how about you? If you don't end up pursuing a, a, soft, um, a volleyball career, what uh, what's, lies ahead for you? Um, I may go to Auburn and... I'll pray for you. No, <laughs> no, it's okay. That's okay. And I might want to be a math teacher. Really? Okay, now, now having said that, you've talked about a couple of fields that you uh, might like to pursue, but uh, have either one of you ever thought down the road, hey, I might be like Coach Singletary, I might coach uh, volleyball one day. It's crossed my mind a couple of times. <laughs> really? Well, if you crossed your mind and, and you stay with it, you never can tell those doors could open somewhere down the road. Now, Jesse, I didn't see you jumping right in. Has it crossed your mind yet? Sort of, yes. So, sort of? Yes, sir. Um, well, listen, girls, I know both of you are seniors, and I know both of you study hard because I've always talked to athletes about this. If you don't qualify in the classroom, guess what? You don't make it to the volleyball court, do you? So that's very important. It's, it's just two situations in your high school experience, the classroom, then whatever um, field you get into or whatever sport you partake of. Now, uh, ha having said that, uh, what, what is something that, that we don't know about you that we would find interesting? Like we know you're a, a, a volleyball player, you've been involved in uh, athletics probably a good part of your life, but what is it like? Do you play the piano, write poetry, uh, jigsaw puzzles? <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, if we were just talking and then I wanted to say, um, Kirian, tell me something that I don't know about you. What would it be? Um, oh gosh, that's so hard. <laughs> um, 
I guess what's most interesting is I am the setter and that's like a position where you have to talk a lot and I'm not somebody who's really outgoing so that's kind of different. You're, you're a little <laughs> introverted playing an, an, an outroverted sort yes, of sir. play. Well that, uh, that could put a little pressure on you or it could also change your attitude towards some things, make yes, you a little sir. more outgoing, you know. Well how about you Jesse? what do you do? What do I do? Um, I really like dogs. You do? Well, then you're a pet person. Mm -hmm. I mean, you wouldn't mistreat a dog. No. No, and there's Never. nothing wrong with that. But, um, uh, and, and I thought both of you being seniors, I, do, do you realize that young ladies look up to y'all? Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that if you, it would surprise me if y'all haven't had the opportunity somewhere along the road to maybe tell a young girl what volleyball has meant to you and, and how it might help them in their life. Talk about that experience. Uh, what would you tell a young lady? Um, what would be a good reason for you to take up volleyball? Um, I kind of think of volleyball as like a family away from home because, you, I mean, you go through ups and downs with them because it's definitely an up and down sport. So that would be what I would say. And how about you? Yes. You make friends for life. Yeah, you know, I have a lot of athletes, it don't matter what sport it is, they talk about that. But um, uh, uh, Carrie Ann was talking about the ups and downs for a second, and I want you to expand on that. And, and the area I want you to talk about is one thing that can prevent ups and downs, especially on a team, is team chemistry. If, if the girls like each other and get along with each other, it's a whole lot easier for everybody, not only the team to improve, the relationship with the coach to improve. So talk about the team, team chemistry for y'all's team. I think our team has good chemistry and with our coach too. Like we took a volleyball late trip this summer and uh, that's fun. Well, you know, that, <laughs> to, to get away from the practice and, mm -hmm. and the playing and then the preparing, it, it also gives you a chance to get in the, to know one another a little bit better, right? Mm -hmm. um, I know that uh, uh, talking about that team chemistry, uh, sometimes when you come together just right, you can end up being on the court a whole lot more together than you could if you weren't very tight, if you know what I mean. But uh, y'all's um, y'all's area, your area games are starting to come up now, and, and they are the ones that are going to determine whether or not you qualify for the playoffs. So we'll start with you, Carrie, and talk about uh, going into area play, how you feel like you stack up against the teams in your area and what y'all hope to accomplish. Um, well, obviously we hope to accomplish to be number one in our area because that will help us in the seeding for what comes next. And I think we have a good chance at that because of our team chemistry and how many um, well-rounded players we have. Because we have a lot of girls who can go outside of their position and still do really well. So I yeah. think that will take us very far. Sounds like you have a lot of versatile athletes yes, on y'all's so. team. Uh, Jesse, talk about the fact that uh, uh, in your mind, uh, at this point in the season, do you and you feel like you and your teammates are getting a little bit better as a team as you're getting into the heart of your area schedule? I do think we're getting better. We've been to a lot of tournaments, and some were tough tournaments. We had played hard teams, and I think we grew as a team. Well, that's good, and, and the main thing is you want to be peaking mm -hmm. toward this time of the season where, uh, like you say, if, if you play well enough, you'll keep going. If you don't, your season will end earlier. But um, one question I uh, would like to ask is, uh, being seniors, what do you girls do in your, your spare time, downtime, to, to sort of just relax and get away from the sports and the books? And we'll start with you, Kieran. Um. I like to spend a lot of time outside, but I also watch a lot of Netflix, too. <laughs> you do? Well, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Yes, sir. They're all general, right? Yes, yeah. sir. Raven G, that's, that's good. Uh, how about you, Jesse? Um, I also watch a lot of Netflix and TV, yeah. but I also pet my dogs because I love my dogs. 
and well, then I go outside. The as good well. thing about that, if you love them dogs, you know what? They're gonna love you back, aren't they? And, <laughs> yeah. that, and that's a special yes. relationship. Well, girls, I know you're both seniors, and one question I always enjoy asking both male and female athletes is, to this point in your young lives, who's been the most inspirational person or persons in your life, and why? Um. I'd probably say my dad because he went through a battle with cancer and so I kind of relate that to playing volleyball for him and stuff. Well, I, you know, I, I think that, that your dad would, would that'd be heartfelt for him. Yes, sir. How about you, Jesse? I look up to Coach Singletary and I don't know, I just kind of do. Well, let me tell you what, there's nothing wrong with that for the simple reason a lot of times the coaches or the role models for their players. And when a, a, a youngster such as yourself, that's a compliment to them, and I know they appreciate it. Well, girls, your senior season, I hope you go out winners, okay? Thanks, so let's, let's knock off some of those area opponents and get in the playoffs, all right? Thank you. And thanks for coming up. Thank you. We'll take a quick break. We come back, we'll be visiting with another coach and some more players. Don't you go away. And this will be your premium right here. Sorry to interrupt. I just want to say I combined home and auto with State Farm. Saved 760 bucks. Love this guy. Okay, does it bother anybody else that the mime is talking? Freaky. Bundle home and auto and you could save 760 bucks. That's 760 very good reasons to call Alan Gurdot in Trustville today. Land of Frost Premium is America's best-selling one-pound daily pouch. Now available in 12 delicious flavors, including new flavors of muskeet turkey and cotto salami. High school athletes across the country ask for Land of Frost by name. These great items are available at your local grocer, including Piggly Wiggly, Food Giant, Western Supermarkets, and many more. Land of Frost also makes other varieties of lunch meats, including daily shaved bristro and sub sandwich kits. Land of Frost is a proud sponsor of youth sports as well. The community features a world-class resort and spa, the amazing Robert Trent Jones Trail Golf Course, miles of historic trails, and the whole family loves the pool at Ross Park. Now, oh, are we going to have to watch your vacation slides all night? This was supposed to be a party. Well, this isn't my vacation. I live here. Ooh. And folks, welcome back. Before we start this segment off, let me once again remind you, you can catch our show on castvshow.com, on the web, and also like us on Facebook. I always forget that, and that's probably the easiest thing to do. But as we start this segment, we want you to know that we're visiting with the head volleyball coaches of the Spanton Park uh, Jags, and of course, we're talking about uh, Kelly Bowen and uh, Coach Bowen, good to see you. Nice to see you. And uh, generally, what I'll ask a coach to do um, as we get this conversation under the way. Tell us a little bit about your background and what has brought you to be the head volleyball coach there at Spain Park. Well, um, I played uh, volleyball at Mississippi State for three seasons, graduated at the age of 21, uh, got a job in Montgomery at St. James, led that team to my first year to the Elite Eight, and then my second year we went to the Final Four, getting put out by the state champions. Um, and really, I didn't, I didn't look for another job after you know, my Final Four season. Um, I was planning on staying, and then Spain Park opened, and it kind of interested me, and it was closer to home. And so um, I interviewed. I got another, you know, a second official interview, and I got the job, and it took about four or five months you know, to actually land the job. But, I mean, I'm happy to be here, and it's, and it's been a wonderful, 
like a wonderful experience. Well, good. Now you talked to, uh, you said something about close to home. That, does that mean you're not from the Birmingham area? Um, I'm from Jasper, Alabama. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So, so about 40 more. minutes. Yeah, from, not far away. Okay. Yeah. Well, go, going into this season, um, what did you expect? Uh, uh, it sounds like you've had some um, success in, your, in mm -hmm. your early part of your coaching career and coming to an, a new school, a 7A school, which is, of course, is supposedly the uh, probably the toughest mm -hmm. uh, region that, that we have. And so what were your expectations as a head coach here at Spain Park? Um, I just wanted them to compete. Um, you know, my knowledge of them prior to that is that they weren't competitive and um, that they just couldn't compete and they couldn't finish. And the past really two weeks, I've seen them really, really grow and take on really what my teams, what I want from my teams. They have competed, they have finished. Um, you know, on Friday night, we beat number nine Baker. And I mean, it's just a really, really fun thing to watch them grow. Well, now, now talk about your sport in general for a couple of minutes. And, and what I mean when I ask you a question like that is talk about the growth of girls volleyball that you've seen since a player and now into coaching. Um, as a player, it's definitely gotten faster. Um, when I was in high school, basically, um, you know, I was an outside hitter, so we didn't run a whole lot of quick stuff. We would just set the ball up and you just put a ball down. Mm -hmm. um, now you're running faster plays. The the girls are more athletic. They're quicker. Um, they they know the game more. I would say uh, when I went to college, I was definitely a raw athlete. Um, I didn't know a lot of the game. I just could put a ball down really hard. Um, and from the my first year coaching to now. I can definitely see um, a growth all throughout the state. The you know the kids are growing; they're playing more club ball. That's really the biggest factor is kids getting into club ball. And I also, if I understand you correctly, you're talking about the girls being more physical mm -hmm. or like stronger, faster. Mm -hmm. um, does this come from playing more or actually working outside the sport on their? Um, general quickness and strength. Mm -hmm. So talk about that for a second. It sounds like the girls are putting more time and effort into it. Uh, well, it's all the above. Um, my girls, we work out in season two days a week. And out of season, um, you know, I've only been there for three months. So out of season, we're going to lift at least, you know, three or four and condition, you know, at least three or four. And so, and maybe five. Uh, but it's a lot of plyometrics, it's a lot of jumping, it's a lot of, um, it's a lot of, not heavy lifting, it's a lot of agilities. Right. Um, you really don't want to lift heavy, especially in volleyball, um, because you're not, you're not, especially like football, you don't want to lift you like football. And you don't want you're to wanting, pull muscle time. Yeah, boundaries. well you want to lift geared towards your sport. You don't want to gain all this muscle and not be able to move. Right. And so um, I gear my girls towards uh, plyometrics, jumping, quick, uh, quick movement. Quickness and agility. Yes, like we're not going to go out and run, you know, like soccer run. They'll run, you know, five miles. And I'm not going to do that to my girls. Like we need to run sprints, quickness, um, turning on a, you know, on a dime, stuff like that. Talk about the situation, the relationship that, uh, and how the transformation has been for you as the head coach there between you and, and the girls? Um, it's definitely been a process. Hmm. Um, we, uh, we are still learning each other, um, but I mean, I think that we had a lot of team bonding over the summer um, and I really, they're like my own kid. Like I'm, I'm pregnant right now, so um, I'm becoming like more of a mom to them. Um, they, they have really, really grown on me. <laughs> well, I, and I think that's the way a coach wants it to be with their athletes. Let me ask you this. Do you think that the girls, and uh, I don't know if this sounds like a fair question or not, but have they, um, from the beginning of the season, have you seen them get to the point now to where maybe they're going to be more the team that you wanted them to be come playoff time? Um, definitely, uh, especially the past, like I said, the past week or two, um, they're very, very comfortable. They're not as, you know, um, I would say some of them are not as confident in themselves, but now I see more and more confidence coming out as we get into 
October and playoff time, and we only got two more weeks of normal season. So um, playoffs is, I mean, really it's who all comes together in October. It's not how you begin the season, it's how you end. Right. And I think that a lot of these girls have bought into my program. Well, one thing about that too, it seems like uh, from, from your standpoint, you're sort of seeing the team come together the way you want it to. Yes. And, and that's, um, that's got to help them. And, and also the, the, the fact that you feel like that, hey, they're peaking. You want your team peaking at the right mm -hmm. time. And of course, the one thing that will probably help you more than anything else will be a season or two there yeah. with a lot of the younger girls and have them grow the way you want them to grow. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess very quickly, are, are you the kind of coach that you have a certain way you want it done? Or do, are you one of these that you'll, well, I'll take the girls I have with the positives they have and try to make them the best they can be, but yet you still want to be your finished product when it's over with. Um, I'm a little bit of both. Um, I'm definitely positive, but I want you know certain things done the way I want them done. Um, I don't back down from any you know I don't back down from my point of view on things, um, and I really do think that that has helped them a lot. Um, especially in hard drills or, you know, because my, my practices are geared towards it's harder than games. Well, I tell you what, Coach, it's been awfully good to meet you, and I know that you and your team are looking for the playoffs and a good uh, finish for the season, so good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to visit the four outstanding players from the Spain Park Volleyball Team. And this will be your premium right here. Sorry to interrupt. I just want to say, I combined home and auto with State Farm. Saved 760 bucks. Love this guy. Okay, does it bother anybody else that the mime is talking? Freaky. Bundle home and auto, and you could save 760 bucks. That's 760 very good reasons to call Ted Townley in Homewood today. The Drive Shop in Trustful not only personalizes cars, SUVs, and trucks, they can personalize your motorcycle or ATV as well. They also specialize in automotive accessories to fit your specification. They provide performance and fuel economy upgrades, lift kits, off-road accessories, custom lighting, bed liners, and much more. Once again, that's the Drive Shop located just north of downtown Trustful on Highway 11. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. and on Saturday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. The number to call, 533-8785 or visit us online at thedriveshop.com or like us on Facebook. Don't forget, you'll receive a 10 cent discount if you mention Snapper's name. The community features a world-class resort and spa, the amazing Robert Trent Jones Trail Golf Course, miles of historic trails, and the whole family loves the pool at Ross Park. Now, are we gonna have to watch your vacation slides all night? This was supposed to be a party. Well, this isn't my vacation. I live here. Ooh. And folks, welcome back. In this segment, we're gonna be missing with four young seniors of the Spain Park volleyball team. But first, let me remind you, Always remember, you can catch our show on the web at cestvshow.com and like us on Facebook. But uh, as we get started here, I want to introduce the young ladies. We got Jordan Nakayama, a senior, and you're a setter, yes. right? And then Anna Maria Reta, Renta, yes, and sir. you're a senior, Libero. Libero. Yes, That's sir. a defensive specialist, right? Mm -hmm. And Lauren Arndt, a senior outside hitter. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, that leaves Marina Shoemaker, a senior defensive specialist. Oh, that means she shuts down scores, doesn't it? <laughs> Ooh, okay. So <laughs> these girls are very experienced, I can tell, in volleyball. Why? Because they look so exciting, so interchanging with one another that you've got to be good as a team, right? So the first thing I want to ask, and I'll ask you, Jordan, what about the chemistry on this team? Sometimes, you know, if girls don't get along, and girls are just as famous for not getting along as guys are sometimes, but if you can, the better you get along, the better team chemistry you have, sometimes the better team you end up being, right? Yes, sir. Talk about that aspect from your team. Um, well, you can definitely tell by the way our outcomes of our 
playing ends up. Like when we win, you can tell that we're having fun and just enjoying the game. We're all working well together. But when we start to get in a little bit of a down, we start arguing or we start just getting frustrated with each other. It definitely takes a toll on our outproduce or our produce of our games. And yeah, wins. well, sometimes it can. That's why, believe it or not, team chemistry is very mm -hmm. important because sometimes it can lift you up when you're down or it can destroy your good moments if you don't pull together, in other words. Um, Anna Marie, how many years you've been playing volleyball? Since seventh grade. Seventh grade, do you participate in any other sports? Um, no, sir, just no. volleyball. All right, well, let me ask you this question. Being a senior, first year coach, how has the adjustment been for you? It's, I mean, it's been tough, like, adjusting to, like, her coaching styles to our last year's coach. But I think it's worked really well with all of us, especially the seniors. I think we've definitely overcome, like, losing our coach because we've had her for since the beginning. And I think it's, like, really worked well. Well, you know, that's a strange thing because it's an adjustment for both the players and the coaches. And so the, the quicker that both sides can make it, the quicker y'all can become the unit that you would hope to be. Uh, Lauren, how about you? What kind of adjustment has it been for you? I mean, I like her as a coach. I, definitely something that we've changed. She's a lot more hardcore than our last coach. and She's come in and pushed us, really, really pushed us. Uh, well, would you say that, uh, and I don't want this to come out the wrong way, but it sounds like maybe she's more of a, a disciplinarian, mm -hmm. wanting things done her way. And a lot of times we're all guilty of thinking and, and I include myself in this because I was an athlete at one time. Of course, it many years ago, but it was one time. You think we know what's best for us sometimes when we really don't. That's why they call them coach, mm -hmm. right? Um, Mariana, Marina, that's, uh, I knew later or sooner I'd get it right. <laughs> Defensive specialist, ex explain to me exactly what that entails in your job. Well, it's just like a little barrow, but we just don't, she gets more of the balls than we do, okay. but we just, we're the wings, so we just guard all the hitters. Okay, when the, um, I'm going to ask you the same question. How's the adjustment been to the new head coach for you? It's been great. Like, I've never been more confident than um, I was in the past with her. She's, like, brought me to, like, come to realize that I actually can, like, get up a ball unlike I have felt like in the past. Well, good. Um, Jordan, one thing that I always like to ask uh, seniors in particular, if, um, if volleyball is not in your future um, after high school, and all of your seniors, do, do you know whether or not you might be going somewhere on scholarship, or do you know? Um, well, for me, I'm definitely considering playing volleyball in college, and I'm looking, I'm playing club, like trying to get scholarships, having co college coaches mm -hmm. look at me. Um, my coach, Coach Bowen, has been very influential in helping me get um, college coaches to look at me as well, but it is a dream of mine to be able to play college ball. Okay, where, if, if you could, right now, if you could go any college that you wanted to, where would you go? If I could go anywhere, anywhere. it would be Mississippi State. Mississippi State? Yes. And what kind of courses would you take there? Um, civil engineering. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, now having said that, that doesn't sound like a field that might lead you back to the volleyball court. You ever thought about coaching? Um, I have considered coaching, mm -hmm. but I do really enjoy engineering and that type okay. of field. So th that's uh, the kind of thing that will take care of itself one day, right? Yes. Um, Anna Marie, how about you? Uh, where do you hope to go to school? Well, I'm not sure about playing volleyball in college because I know I think I'm considering UAB or Troy just because I want to go in the nursing field. Really? Mm -hmm. Did, has anybody ever told you you're a, you really speak softly? <laughs> <laughs> now, having said that, does that mean you carry a big stick? <laughs> or are you aggressive, I guess is what I'm trying to say on the court. Are I you? mean, I would say so. so. it would be a little deceiving that you speak softly because you, you get at it when you get on that volleyball court, yes, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Lauren, how about you? What do you hope to do when your playing days are over? You hope to keep playing. Well, uh, I don't really want to play college ball. It's a little too intense for me. But I want to go to Alabama so I can... You're, oh, you've got success written all over you. <laughs> yeah, what, uh, what do you hope to do? What kind of classes do you want to uh, take? I want to go into accounting. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Marina, how about you? Volleyball, I don't think it's in my future for college, but I would love to go to New York to do um, their Fashion Institute. 
I want to go into photography. So. New York? Are, okay. are you from around here? Yes, sir. New York. <laughs> and New York. So you're going to go right to the top. <laughs> That's terrific. Do you know any, I mean, have you had any friends or know anybody? In New York? You ever been to New York? No, sir. Oh, okay. So this is just a dream that you have it one is. day. I mean, my parents aren't really in favor of it. But oh. fashion, I've always had that dream since I was little. I love fashion, so. <laughs> well, good, good. All right, now, girls, let's get down to brass taxes here. We're getting close to the playoff time, which um, means we've we got to win the, your area games and, and this, that, and the other. But, and, and I'll start with you, uh, Jordan. Do, um, do you feel like this, your team is a playoff team? I do. I feel like if we compete and we play our game and we worry about what we're doing on our side of the court, I think we are strong contenders for making it far. Um, Anna Marie, do you feel like that um, that, that your team um, can make some noise in the playoffs? Most and, definitely. And, and, and you all have progressed as a team in a positive way? Yes, sir. If we're Honestly, if we're having fun, we all do great, and we, I, can, I believe that we will do good things. Well, good. <laughs> well let me tell you, all, all you guys, when I say guys, I mean girls, are, are seniors. Now, here's the one question I like to ask um, all athletes, whether it's boys or girls, you never know what kind of answer you're going to get. Now, if I didn't know you and you were going to tell me something about you that would surprise you, whether it's a hobby, something you like to do or not do, um, what would that be? And I'll start with you, Jordan. Um. <laughs> like, do you play piano? Do you sing? Um, um. Opera? And I would surprise if you did. I'm a huge Georgia Bulldog fan. Yeah, really? <laughs> yes. That would surprise me? <laughs> Probably would, being here in the heart of Alabama where you got yes. Alabama and Auburn, right? Okay, um, Anna Marie, she got out of that okay. Now, what, what would yours be? Um, well. <laughs> You write poetry? I don't write you play poetry. play the banana? Uh, no. <laughs> no? You're, are you a reader? You like to read? I, yeah, I like to read. You do? I do like to read. Yeah, and we're not just talking comic books. No, no. not comic oh, okay. books. But that, that would be a hobby of yours, maybe? Mm -hmm. Okay, Lauren, how about you? I like to use my phone. Oh, no kidding. I never met a girl that didn't Surprise. like to use her phone. Did you like to use it more than most girls, right? Yeah. Well, good. There's nothing wrong with that. Communication. That's, that's a good thing. Thank you. Okay, Marina, how about you? Oh, goodness. I don't know. I don't. Volleyball is just my hobby. It is. This is my hobby. Right now it's your life, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but your hobby. Okay, girls. Well, listen, another thing on a, on a very serious note, and I like to ask young athletes this as well. Um, all of you being seniors, which means you're fixing to graduate and all, but to this point in your lives, I want you to tell me who's the most inspirational person or persons and why. And we'll start with you, Jordan. Um, I definitely have to say my mother. She has raised all f four of my siblings, including me, by herself mm -hmm. um, as a single mother since we were very little. And just the fact that she's made it so far and given us so much, I just hope to be half the woman that she is. Well, I tell you what, I'd have to, from you saying that, I would have to take it for granted your mom's a very special lady. Uh, how about you, Anne Marie? Um, I would definitely say my dad, because he's always pushing me and making me do my best. And I know he wants the best for me, and I'm not, like, he's just my hero. I love my dad. <laughs> well, I tell you what, nothing makes dads feel any better <laughs> than to have their daughters talk about them, too. So that's terrific. How about you, Lauren? I'd also have to say my dad. He. He's always supported me through my volleyball career. He's always been there for me, no matter what I'm going through. Okay. Uh, Marina? I'm going to change it up, and mine would be my aunt, because um, she's like my mom to me, and she's my best friend. I've gone to her for everything. Cause my, when my parents got divorced, my aunt was the one that I always went to, because I didn't want to pick a side. Yeah, so. well, that's terrific. And, and that was... Uh, that was smart of you on the other side, talking about mom and dad. It, regardless if they can't work it out, they'll always be mom and dad. And that, well, that's terrific. And it's uh, terrific you have an aunt that feels that, that way. Um, girls, I tell you what, I, I know it's always an, an adjustment when a new coach comes in to someone like, I think it was you, um, Anna Marie, that said they'd been the same coach for quite a few years for you guys. So it sounds like y'all made the transition very well. And I know your goals are, is to go out a winner 
because we're all seniors and we'll try to do that. So the coach needs to know right now that, that coach, they're going to do everything they can to do that. But they're not only going to do it for you, coach, they're going to do it for y'all, right? So, girls, I wish you all the luck the rest of the, the way in the season. And may you get into the playoffs and have a real good showing, okay? And if y'all win a championship, what you can do is bring coach and trophy back here. We'd celebrate together, all right? And that's adding an incentive. And it may be an incentive not to win. So, but girls, take that uh, whatever way you want to. Good luck to all of you, okay? Thank you. Thanks Thank for coming you. up and being with us. Same time, same place next week. Till then, you know what Snapper always says. Bye.